Hey, this is Brother Jeff, and I'm going to uh, show you a storyline tip that I learned as I was building some of these different interactions for our template library. Um, and one thing I, I came across was the ability to change the button uh, from the rounded corners to an actual rectangle. Now, this wasn't an easy way. I didn't want to use just the shape, I actually, and then have to build all the different, uh, the different, um, the different states and everything manually. And so one thing I found is you can come into insert and um, let's say if I wanted a button here, <clears throat> you'll notice that the button really doesn't have a way to change those rounded corners. Um, on some of the shapes you can change rounded corners, but in this case I can't really uh, insert a button that does not have rounded corners. If I go back into insert, you'll notice the other button has even more rounded corners and so that's one thing I struggled with at first is finding a way to make that so it's not a rounded corner one. Now there is a workaround so you can make um, a, a shape into a button and the, the way that you do that is by clicking on the shape inserting a rectangle that has more of the sharp edges here um, and by selecting the button so you do have to insert a regular button you can select the button, go to the Home tab, select Format Painter, and then select the rectangle. The nice thing about that is now in your States tab, you have the Hover State, Down State, Visited State, and Disabled State. So, and then you can still add your label inside of here as well. So it's an easy way. You can then delete that button, um, and then to make it even sharper corners if you wanted the rectangle you can go back into format go into shape styles and then under under the line style uh, you can change the cap type to square and then the round uh, the join type to miter and that will even give it a sharper edge on the sides as well now i don't like the the shadow that gets there by default so i will have to change the shape effect I'm going to go ahead and just get the shadow all around the object instead of just below the object. Let me select that again. Um, and then you might have to do that within each state as well. Depends on the state, but you can tell in this case it actually changed the or kept the shadow pretty much the same as the first one. And then the other nice thing about a button is it will update all the different text throughout the different uh, out the different states as well with me just changing it in one area instead of having to manually change it if it was just the shape. Now, if I wanted to uh, get this color changed, I wanted to apply it to other buttons, um, you could either just copy and paste this button, or let's say you already had a button. Uh, let's go in here and change the color of this button. Let's say you already had other buttons you wanted to apply this change to. You just go back into Home, go into Format Painter, and then select other buttons. So now all the different states will pretty much match up. And that's how you get started with uh, more rectangular edges for your buttons and uh, how you can convert a shape into a button using the Format Painter tool.